This is a little draggy device. It times very accurately 0 to 60 times. So I'm going to test it on my new 2024 Model 3 Performance. I can also then give a comparison of our 2019 Model 3 Performance. And previously we've done timings with a 2021 Model 3 Performance. So how does the new 2024 version stack up? Tesla claimed 0 to 60 2.9 seconds on this car. Previously it was 3.2 and 3.1. Now the difference here is that in the UK, we don't get the 510 horsepower like the US cars. And that's because they get the 82 kilowatt hour battery, we get the 79 kilowatt hour battery. So our cars are apparently 460 horsepower, which I think is about what we were allowing for the time before. So, however, they still claim 2.9 seconds, 0 to 60. Can it really do that? So typically a Tesla would not quite get its official number. Its official number is really prime optimal conditions, uh, sticky, drag strip now we can only really do this on the road but we will be able to give it a comparison between the previous cars so let's do that i'm gonna jump in get it set up and let's give it a try whilst the weather is good like this so it's a warm sunny day uh, the car is going to start off with 90 percent tire pressures well as recommended 42 psi cold in fact when i got in the car this morning actually 41 all round but it's turned into quite a warm day so they've actually climbed to 44 at the moment so maybe the pressures are a little bit up on this, but it probably would have been the same with the previous testing we did on uh, other cars anyway. Uh, but nonetheless, let's get an idea. We're still, what we want to do is be able to tell it's faster. So I'd say on the road, I think it does feel a bit faster, but somehow it's a bit smoother. I don't know how. Um, I think especially with the line, this feels a bit harder than the previous Model 3 performance. And then in the mid-range kind of doesn't obviously feel any different. Maybe at higher speeds it will which we can't test today. We can only go within the, the speed limit on the road. Uh, we'll do some stuff another day uh, on probably another channel on a runway where we can see it at higher speeds. But this is about getting the comparison. Is it really quicker than the previous car like Tesla claim? Or if we in the UK have been shortchanged with less power and actually the claim is a bit false. Uh, that's kind of what I want to test really today. So hopefully I get an answer from that. Uh, so I'm going to use a section of road which is uh, very quiet and safe to do so. Just check it now one comes around the corner there. Make sure I'm staying within the speed limits. And we've also got to try and get a flat road. So we're a bit limited in what facilities we do have available. But here we go, a reset and then go. Oh God, it's quick car. I mean, it's enough to make the blood go to the back of your head. You kind of strain it forward, but it's a quick car so that one there 3.05 seconds to 60 miles per hour which i think is quicker than the previous ones we got <laughs> off the line there it did feel a bit of a harder launch now this car has the pirelli tires but what they've done now with this latest 2024 is give it wider rear tires so that might help with that away from the line grip and launch. Uh, we'll see. Um, that could certainly help. Let's do another run here, reset that, and go. <laughs> Probably better off putting my head back. <laughs> I'm still going out there straining. Uh, 3.21. Now this is just using insane mode, not track mode. You could potentially, I've seen a couple of videos in states and it doesn't look like it really makes too much difference. Maybe it does, but I think the thing with the test is you have to come to a stop in park to engage track mode. And then within track mode, there's a ton of different settings about how much traction and where, where you have the power. So, you know, maybe another video another day is about all the different settings and how that affects the performance. But I think in this video, it's more like just on the road in insane mode, we just pin it what does it actually do without having to really delve into a variety of huge variety of different settings uh, so i'm going to repeat a few runs and then i'll try and take maybe an average of all the runs and see what we get So after a few runs in the 2024 car, the best I saw was uh, 3.08, I think. So just over three seconds by like 
a, a, a hundredth, which I think is going to be a bit better. It certainly feels a bit more violent away from the line in terms of now you're at that kind of three second stage is the bit where really it does pull your stomach and the blood from your head and really kind of is a notable difference when you get to kind of that kind of speed. I remember the first Model S performance that was doing that kind of figure. You, oh, God, it really kind of can almost make your head drain and faint and stuff like that. Quite interesting feeling, really. Uh, so this does feel a bit quicker, for sure, off the line. Now, it does have the wider tyres at the back, so that might be the difference. We'll see. That's what it is. I mean, maybe one day we'll switch some wheels around and see if that makes a difference, but probably haven't got time for that today. Well, we'll just go and jump in the 2019 now, see how that compares. Just literally got out of the other car, you know, straight out. So 2019 Model 3 Performance now. This is an old car we call Clint. Nearly 107,000 miles on the clock of this car. And we have recorded this a couple of years ago. So it'd be interesting as well to see if this is still the same as it always was. I don't know the mileage when we did it before, but obviously it'd be a fair bit less than now. So same state of charge, starting off with 90%. I'll just do a few runs up and down. Again, not ideal conditions in terms of it's just a road. I'm limited by, uh, obviously, I'm going to keep on the speed, make sure I'm within the speed limits. The road is probably a bit gritty compared to something like a racetrack or a runway. And it's probably, it's not quite 100% flat in terms of there's a, ever such a slight inc incline in one direction I'd do it in and there's a slight decline in the other direction I'm doing, but in one of the directions, I certainly start from a very flat level, so that should be a good indicator at least, and, and we're talking tiny differences here, so, you know, again, we've just got to be realistic about what we can do with the facilities we've got. We don't have a flat runway to hand today. So, this car's hot, it's been sat in the sun, <laughs> so it's just cooling down now, but I'll turn the fans down in a minute, and then we'll uh, record a couple of runs, see what we get in the same condition, same, same state of battery charge. So starting at 90%, going down to about 80% after a few runs up and down. So they're both the same like that. Okay, let's make sure this is in sports mode. So the older car doesn't have insane, that's new to 2024. Again, I'm not gonna use track mode, just it's standard, fastest road mode, if that makes sense. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I think this is in camera record mode. But I'll do a few runs, there's no point showing everything. I'll do a few runs and make a little table probably with the results and get some averages. And again, it's just going to give us a good point of comparison, even if it's not the most scientific result in the world. But I'm keen to know for myself. Now, one of the previous cars we've tested was the 2021 Model 3 Performance, where we did for a bit get the 82 kilowatt hour battery. So I have the figures from that car from a couple of years ago as well. So we'll add that into the mix. So it's interesting, we did get the 82 kilowatt hour before, for a bit, then it went back to a 79. And then we got the 2024 car. So a bit of a mixture of batteries in the performance that most people wouldn't be aware of. Okay, let's see what we can do with the 2019 car. Let's get in the start position. I think let's hit record there and go. I can hardly say it's a slow car. 3.55 that recorded. It's not as quick as the other one. What we should be able to get with this as well is 0 to 30 comparison, so that difference in the in the line law. There's 2019 cars, Mission Pilot Sport 4S's, so the tyres are the same width all the way around. They're not wider at the back like they are on the newer car. Maybe that makes a difference. So before we finish the video of the best timings we got, we also last night, after hours, did a couple of drag races down here side by side. So a bit limited to our own little drag strip, but here's the results of that. And you can see exactly the difference as they leave the line up to about 40 miles per hour. So this is now me and Gintz having our own drag race. We don't have a runway, we're using the strip down the side of our warehouse. So it's a, what are we gonna get to, north to 40, north to 30? 
But it will show the difference between how they leave the line. I think this launch is harder. Okay. Right, so we have to do our own countdown. Because Joe's down there making sure no one comes out in front of the front door. So, three, two, one. <laughs> Slow on the start, Gintz. Make sure you're not in reverse. There you go, level wing mirrors. Okay, do you want to call it then? No, you can do it. I'll just... So I'm in drive, I'm in insane, you're in sport because you don't have insane. Not track mode, no, and just, uh, just, that's just it. Yeah, just, just literally auto hold and pl plant your foot. Okay, you, you, you call it. Okay, three, two, one. Ah, too slow. <laughs> you look like you weren't gonna go, so I doubted myself. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, that was it. That was the one. I swap sides. Are you in? I've got my cooled seat on as well. It's quite. I'm so hot in here. Have you got your aircon off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine's off. It's so hot. I've got a cooled seat, so I'm good. <laughs> okay, aircon on, because it is hot, isn't it? Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, dead even start, I think, wasn't it? It was good. And then this just has that, it does have that edge, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, again, it takes a bit. If you kept going, you're just going to pull a couple of car lengths, aren't you? So that's a good head to head. And we've done that from both sides. I wonder if this picked up the speed I got up to there, because it felt like I was doing about 60. Probably doing 24. <laughs> but it felt like more. <laughs> Hopefully it's on the camera, but it's enough to show it's consistent. Pull away, we've both got, I've got 78% state of charge. What have you got? 81% state of charge, 78. So they're, yeah. In fact, you should have the advantage if there was one, but I don't think it makes too much difference. So that's the difference. So naught to 40, what, a car length? This is like literally ahead of that, of probably the 30, 40 by the time we're coming out the gate. Yes, sir. <laughs> is that enough? That's enough. <laughs> Before we go, before we uh, crash into each other or the gate or the building or all our cars, that's enough for now. <laughs> okay then, so that's for the results. Basically, what I wanted to find out, is this quicker? Yes, it is. I haven't had the time to do a table of averages, uh, so I just picked the best validated time from the draggy. So the draggy is very sensitive to incline, decline, and it will invalidate if it's not correct. So these are the best validated times, and we can share the screenshot. So basically, with this 2024 car, with one foot rollout, which is what Tesla do allow for, 2.93 seconds we got. So they quote 2.9, 2.93, quite happy with that to be fair. Which means if you take away the one foot rollout, that was 3.15 seconds. Uh, compare that to the 2019, that's 3.27 there at the bottom with the one foot rollout, or 3.49 excluding the rollout. I've also got the data from the same bit of road in similar conditions with the 2021 Model 3 performance I had before. And that did have the 82 kilowatt hour battery. We only had it for a little while in this country. Started off with a 75 like 2019 car. Then we had the 82, then we went back to the 79. The 2021 with the 82 battery, the best validated time we had from that car was 3.07 with the one foot rollout, which without rollout was 3.29. So basically, they've been getting quicker and quicker. The early one, then the 82 that we had in 2021. I haven't had the, uh, at the moment, a 2023 79. We could do a test on that one day, but this new car is faster. And I have to admit, initially when I first had this the first weekend, it didn't especially feel it, uh, but there's two things with that. It was a quite a cold, damp weekend. And secondly, it's, and it's just warmed up now. The tires are probably scrubbed in a little bit for better grip and it does feel faster. So there we go. I mean, we are talking tenths of seconds, so you do feel that difference. So it's just got to that point now, like the Model S performances, where it can really pull the blood out of your brain and make you almost feel faint. So a quick car, 
And actually, the more I've been driving this, the more I've been enjoying it. It's certainly the ride comfort. So as ever, more videos to come very soon. Make sure you stay subscribed, and I'll give you my full review, because I'm nearly up to 1,000 miles in this car now, plus there's a track day coming up. So make sure you hit subscribe with the bell icon for notifications. See you on the next one.